Cerebral palsy is defined as a non-progressive lesion to a developing brain, which means as we age and the muscles shorten or short muscle disease, we have different patterns. We have spasticity, we have an athetoid sort of writhing movement, we have dystonic movements, and often all three come together. This wonderful demonstration by this very high-functioning woman uh, shows that she has considerable spasticity in her shoulder, but if you look at the other hand, you can see there's a athetosis and a dystonic movement of the fingers, meaning inconsistent. But the big feature on the right hand is that hand stays in a fist. It does not open. So the whole examination before the procedure, it is stiff and tight. There's a lot of resistance to movement. We are having to pry open the fingers. So we do crown or lysis to the pec muscles for the shoulder, the brachialis and biceps for the elbow, and we do a median above the elbow for the wrist and fingers to see if we can pop those fingers open and let the wrist extend. Then we bring her a month later. <laughs> Boring. Boring. <laughs> and now open your hand. Uh, and just, you can do it. Yeah. Good, good, good. There you yes. go. And close it and open it. We are now one month after the procedure, and you can see that actively she's starting to move her hand, but the big noticeable change is the hand is now opening on its own. We have a hand that can open and close. There is dystonia, but it's moving quite nicely. When we look at the hand with physiotherapy, it's nice and relaxed and opening up something that she has not been able to do before. This is new added in hand function, and now we're gonna work on controlling the dystonia for her. Beautiful.